Tracking a customer's activity and paying attention to the status they are in is one way you will stay up to date with all your prospects. Notice here you can also check at a glance how long it's been since the prospect was added into the system and how long it's been since any activity has been recorded. Another part of working with customers or prospects is using the calendar and scheduling tools to help schedule appointments and set follow-up dates. Whenever you work with a customer to set up a time for them to come into the dealership, you will want to schedule an appointment. Scheduling an appointment does a few things. First, it updates your customer status to appointment scheduled. Second, it adds the appointment to your dealer center calendar. You always have quick access to your calendar from any screen by clicking on your profile name at the top of the page and then selecting My Calendar. As you'd expect, the calendar offers day, week, month, and agenda list views of all your scheduled appointments. Appointments here are all associated with customers. You can click on any appointment to see its details, and from here you can edit it, change the time or whose calendar it appears on, or mark it as complete, which removes it from the calendar. You can also click on the customer name to open the customer's detail page. Appointments can be scheduled on a customer or prospect page by selecting the activity type, choosing outgoing or incoming if applicable, then selecting appointment scheduled. Here, you can choose the date and time of the appointment. Another way to schedule an appointment is directly from the calendar. Open the calendar from any page in Dealer Center, then click on the day and time for the appointment. This opens the appointment details page. From here, add your customer and put in a subject, and if necessary, adjust the date and time, assign the appointment, and add notes. Notice that regardless of how the appointment is added, the status of the customer will always update to appointment scheduled, and the time of the appointment is displayed along with the status. An appointment can be marked as completed on the appointment details window or from a customer's activity history. Marking an appointment as completed removes it from the calendar and adds a completed on date in the activity history, but it doesn't change the status. The prospect is still listed as appointment scheduled and the last scheduled appointment time is displayed. To update the status, you must record an activity. You are essentially recording what happened. What was the outcome of the appointment? If your prospect came into the dealership, but that's as far as it went, they essentially left without buying, you would record either prospect visited dealership or maybe prospect test drove vehicle. Doing this updates the status to dealer visit follow-up. Alternatively, you might record a deal in progress or mark the prospect as lost. Be sure to check out the CRM Part 1 and Part 2 videos that go over statuses and recording activity. An appointment can also be canceled. Clicking Canceled here updates the status of the prospect to Missed Appointment Follow-ups. Finally, a list view of all appointments, past and present, is available by selecting Customer, then Appointments from the home page. From this report, you can see all appointments that have been created including appointments that were canceled or completed. You can also add follow-up dates to a prospect. Notice that when you record most activities involving an interaction with a customer like a phone call, text message, email, or dealer visit, you have the option to add a follow-up date. Sending a follow-up date is a simple way to give yourself a visual reminder to follow up with someone at some point in the future. For example, when you leave a voice message, you can set a follow-up date for two days later so you remember to try them again at that time. Or you might speak with a customer and they tell you they're thinking about coming in next weekend. You could add a follow-up date for next Thursday so you know to check in with them then. Notice that your next follow-up date is now listed under the prospect status. The date displays until it has passed. You can set multiple follow-up dates, but it's the earliest date that is shown here.